Okay, how to change the angles and the sizes of paintbrushes on GIMP. I've installed some new ones and they, they come out huge, so it's hard to work with them. These sort of, sort of pigment color explosions. It's the first time I've installed them, anything on, onto GIMP, my, my laptop and um, so this is how to do it. So I'm going to start with a new template. I'm going to select one, it's just easier. Um, like that, I think. Should be white, yeah, the white, that's the background there. It'll be the foreground. I'm going to choose a different foreground color. I want a sort of a, uh, something like that, maybe sort of dark pink or something. Okay, <clears throat> as you can see I move this brush around and they're massive. The, the size is up here, 1704 times 1038 and as I scroll over the template so it's hard to see what it would look like. So what I'm going to do, how do you change the size? Well I found you can either go over the icon and double click paintbrush tool for the options or in the top right corner there tool options again so I'll just click that one and here we've got options and here is the size so 1704 that's one of the dimensions I think that was width so as I come down I think it does the height as well they're linked I'm not sure if you can unlink them. I haven't really looked into this much yet. But you know. and as I'm reducing the size, you'll see the bar is just starting to decrease. Decreasing faster now. And I want to do this because I want to print them all out to see what they look like brush size. So we've got, a, we've got a much smaller brush size now. So I can see what that looks like. That's lovely. So I'm going to go back and try some more. I go back to the box. That's the wrong one. That's the other one. The paint. My paint brushes. This is brushes. Go back to the options and I've got to start again. Reducing the file size. Pretty big, pretty big um brush sizes. Uh, let's have a look at that. Underneath. Fine one. Particularly nice one. Okay, we'll go back. That's the one. Try another one. Back to options and reduce that size. making them much more workable. Hmm. Okay. Let's 
to go back to the shop, I'm just going to try one more. Select a new one, back to options. Not, not any finished work, I'm just seeing how they look. That's how you change the. So that's how you change the size. Let's change an angle. Okay. Let's go back to the brushes. What's this one? Let's have a look. And change size first. That's massive again. I'm guessing that's pixel size. So we're going to have 300, if there it is. Huh. Well, that's a particularly nice one. Nice effect. Now, how could I change that brush? I'll show you that on its own. Lovely powder explosion effect. I'm going to change, try and change the angle. If I wanted to go right or left, maybe I'll decrease it there. Ten. And that's moving left. So minus would be going sort of. Clockwise, and if you go plus, <clears throat> so I'm going to guess that's going to go clockwise or right. Yeah, I guess the bar is going right, so I guess it'd be pushing it clockwise. So let's have a look, and it has done. So there are your options, that top right box, or by clicking on. See, you can just click on that, change, you can change the size and angle. Not sure about the others, hardness, etc. Try them later on. But for those two, you've got them there.